Should you have a mutual signed contract with your MLM software company? Hi, I'm Robert Proctor, and for the last 20 years, I've been involved in the launch of over a thousand network marketing companies. Today, only 10% of those companies are still in business, 90% failed. I wanna give you some tips and tools to avoid being part of that 90% and hopefully to be part of that 10% of success. So this is a question that, uh, that I've been asked many times is, uh, do we have a contract? Are we gonna sign into a contract? What's that contract gonna cover? It's really important in this industry, in any relationship, that you have mutual understood expectations, that there's accountability on both sides. What are things that you should look for in a contract with an MLM software company? One, do you own the data or do they own the data? Uh, if you're gonna get out of the contract, you know, look for that divorce clause. Uh, are they gonna charge you to get your data? So many times I've had horror stories over the years of companies that went to leave their software company and found out that they didn't own the data because they didn't read the fine points of the contract. What type of support are you gonna get? And are you gonna to have to pay for that support? What type of training are you gonna get? And are you gonna to have to pay for that training? You know, a really good MLM software provider, they should be giving you their training for free. They should have in-person training. They should have online training. They should have training with questions and answers. They should have video training. What type of support are you gonna get? Are you gonna only be able to send an email or submit a ticket to a help desk? Or are you gonna be able to call up on the phone and talk to a real person? You know, in today's internet, it seems like everything is send an email, submit a ticket. You know, I love Amazon and I love Amazon Prime, but try to get hold of somebody over at Amazon to complain that you didn't get a package. Same thing in your contract. If you've got a problem, not if, but when, you know, if you've watched my other videos, it's not a matter of if you're gonna have a problem, it's a matter of when are you gonna have that problem and how are you gonna handle it? So are you gonna to have to pay for training? Are you gonna to have to pay for support? Are you gonna to have to pay each time you wanna add a merchant account into the system? Are you gonna to have to pay each time you wanna change the page on the website? Are you in control or are you being controlled? Because contracts are not mutually exclusive. Sometimes contracts are created to control you and sometimes they're created for the benefit of the company. You wanna look for something in a contract that's gonna make sure that your expectations are covered. If you can afford it, I'd suggest you have an attorney take a look at the contract. I know they're expensive, but it's not when you may have to break that contract, it's if you may have to break that contract and how are you gonna get out of it. It's what your expectations are with your software provider and is everything that you could possibly think of, it's never gonna happen, but is it covered under that contract? If you have questions on what should be included with the MLM software contract you're looking at signing, do me a favor, give me a call, send me an email. Uh, my phone number and email are on this webpage. And if you got value from this episode, like it, share it, let others know. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next episode.